when you have uh, events like the Junos happy in our community, it, it goes a long way to expose to the rest of Canada and the rest of the world what our community has to offer. Absolutely. And, and, uh, and all the good things that we have here, whether it's for families, whether it's for uh, sports tournaments, uh, whatever the case may be, or in even business. For London, it's wow, it means uh, uh, you know, good stuff. I mean, for our culture, music, uh, all in all, for London, it's really positive. You know, it's the biggest event in Canada, a uh, music event. Uh, so it's really exciting for all of London, not just London Music Hall. Uh, we're excited because we're able to host several events in our venue, uh, but we're really excited. Uh, I think uh, a lot of the the stars coming and participating in the Junos are being staying with going to be staying with us. We're one of the host hotels, um, and uh, especially the time of the year that it's done. It's in the month of March. It's through March break, and normally, traditionally, March break is a quiet time in the hospitality industry in London because we're mainly driven by business and corporate travel. So by having the Junos here, I mean we've been solidly booked for the whole week for quite some time now and because of the fact that we're booked and some of the other downtown properties are also I'm sure sold out there is an overspill of the business that would otherwise stay with us that will stay on the hotels on Wellington and the Exeter Road. We're booked from Wednesday to Sunday so it's not just a one-day event it's uh, five days here at the Music Hall even though the Junos itself uh, great award ceremony you know on Sunday night in the evening at Budweiser Gardens I'll be there myself uh, but uh, the Junos is not just one day it's actually Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday so you're all in we're all in yeah so the music hall is booked from Wednesday on it's going to be a very vibrant vibe it's going to be a cosmopolitan vibe it's going to be a vibe that uh, it's going to make people uh, happy and uh, take an extra step on day walk so uh, we're very happy we're very proud that we were chosen uh, the city of london was chosen to host the junos that's that's a great compliment to us so there's been some uh, changes in the past uh, six seven months getting ready to the uh, march date and obviously uh, it's like getting ready for the Olympics, you know. You build them, you use it, and then you'll uh, use it after. So what we've done, we've uh, extended the, uh, the room, we've uh, built, built in seats, we raised the roof. When they say raising the roof, we literally raised the roof. Uh, one place we raised it 28 feet, and then other places uh, up to 6 feet. Uh, and then we've added uh, approximately 225 seats. Well, we got to make sure we have everything cross all, cross the T's, dot all the I's, and make sure everything goes perfect. So that is a successful event for the city, and uh, they may want to consider coming back again.